All right, guys, so I'm back again, uh, doing a little bit more work with the Cherokee. As you can see, we got the uh, rear axle out and the leaf springs, well, the leaf spring, singular. Um, this front leaf spring mount was just a pain to get loose, and as you can see, I broke, I broke the bolt off. And that's how much was sticking into the bushing. So we had to bend this bracket out just a little bit. And pretty much rotate the entire leaf spring around until, until it bent loose. And it bent the, the weld loose, or snapped the weld loose on, the, um, on that bolt there. So, as you can see, it's just rolling around. So what I wanted to do is I'm going to have to cut down from the bolt hole itself and pry this down take that bolt and nut out try to put a new bolt in with a new nut and tack weld it in it feels like it's got all kinds of dirt and stuff in there anyways so it's probably best to cut that out in the bottom that way stuff can't collect in there any, in there anymore um, as far as the rear goes that came out fine despite all that rust it has look how much rust this is really bad this is really bad but I think we can fix it and uh, on the other side on the other side just like the just like the other side the uh, back came loose fine no problem there front has completely seized up I can no longer turn it with the breaker bar that I was using so I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to tug away at that some more. But got the shocks disconnected, the emergency brake cables are disconnected, the brake lines are disconnected. I obviously have the U-bolts off of the axle. Um, everything looks other than the pain in the butt. Leaf spring brackets, everything else is pretty good. Um, and the rust, obviously, that needs to be addressed. As soon as possible. Oh, and uh, one other thing I have to show you. One other thing that I wanted to show you is I probably haven't mentioned this before, but um, I haven't. There's a long story about the oil pressure gauge on this vehicle. Uh, when I bought it, the oil pressure gauge was actually was actually super glued straight up and down on 40 psi, and uh, that was one of the first things I noticed when I bought the vehicle that it was super glued in there. Uh, I figured it was just um, the sensor under the hood was bad and to provide a quick fix without replacing the sensor because the sensor is kind of expensive, about $50. Um, for a quick fix, I thought that they just glued it on there. But what happened was, which that may have been the case, but what happened was either the odometer cluster or instrument cluster was bad or whenever they monkeyed around with it to glue it on there that they messed that up because um, when I ran the self-diagnostics on the instrument cluster, this gauge would not work at all. So, I manually checked the oil pressure with a manual gauge, and it checked out fine. And so that prompted me to go ahead and buy a new oil pressure sending unit. And now, for the first time in ever... actually have oil pressure. Or at least a gauge to show that I have oil pressure. So that's kind of cool. It's nice to know that you actually have oil pressure and whenever you don't have oil pressure, it's not really good to guess about it. So that's that. Got rid of this uh, factory sway bar too for the rear. Don't think I'll be using that anymore. Um, but don't throw it away if you're doing this on your own. Keep this little bracket right here, in that triangle shaped piece. Keep that, you can use that as uh, bar pin eliminators for your shock brackets. If you have uh, the bar pins, you want to convert them over to just like a regular shock mount, you can totally use this. Um, what you do is this is just wide enough to put your, to bolt up where your bar pin did. You just bolt your shock like up and through in there with this bolt. Turns out pretty good. So, also got that off. So yeah, that's all that I got done today, um, but tomorrow I plan on coming back out here and uh, 
getting that rear leaf spring completely taken off and breaking the bolt off whatever I had to do to get that out there and uh, cut those pockets out and try to replace the nut maybe tack weld that on and if I have any extra time <clears throat> I might uh, start dropping the front axle and getting everything cleaned up what I plan on doing is uh, taking both axles out and sanding them all down or taking a wire brush to them cleaning up real good give them a coat of paint replace any bushings that I I don't think the rear one has any bushings, but the front one I know has a bushing um, right there and uh, right there on top of the uh, differential there. So we'll get those changed out and then we'll start replacing the seals and bearings and uh, all that good stuff. And then we'll start installing the lift components. Yay! So I'll meet you back then.